Hi, everyone. In Romans 8, 1 to 4, we read of three great laws. The law of sin and death by Adam. The law, the ministration of condemnation and death by Moses, also from 2 Corinthians 3, 5 to 9. And the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Thus, we learn that by Adam is the entrance of sin, Romans 5, 12. By Moses is the knowledge of sin, Romans 3, 26 and Romans 5 26 and Galatians 3 19 and that by Jesus Christ is the forgiveness of sins Acts 13 39 the Holy Spirit through the Apostle Paul wrote this when Christ who is our life shall appear Galatians 3 I mean Colossians rather 3 1 to 4 now Christ declared himself to be the life John 14 6 and Paul wrote Christ liveth in me, and then again, for me to live is Christ. In 2 Timothy 1.16, we learn that Christ brings life and the guarantee of incorruptibility to light in the gospel. In John 16.28, we have the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. In John 11:25, Christ is the resurrection and the life for believers who will never die. Christ, of course, had power to lay down his life and to take it up again. John 16, 17 to 19. So here is what we understand. That the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus frees the believer from the law of sin and death, from the penalty and wages of sin and from the wrath to come. And the sum total of man's spiritual responsibility and duty is with respect to the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Therefore, first, appropriate that law and be saved. Second, demonstrate that law by walking in the spirit and fulfilling the righteousness of the law. Third, propagate that law of life by preaching and teaching it to others. That is, by proclaiming the message of grace unmixed with religion or legalism. Okay.